Hi, uh, 10 o'clock at night, welcome to Off the Ranch. Uh, I got a thing, don't worry about that, I'll show you more about it later, but I already see a problem. Running lights, headlights, brights. The problem is, it's not enough. So, like, I was thinking, more would be better. Done, totally installed, solid, wires all tied up, looking nice and clean. Okay, here's running lights. Okay, you kind of see those just, they're not bright at all. You can see they don't mess up the camera, they don't make a, a big glare or anything. Don't look at the rest of the vehicle right now. I'll show you, show you more of that later this episode. Running lights, headlights, brights, okay? And one is obviously hitting you guys more. And then, ha <laughs> ha, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Don't listen. Don't listen. Just, just, don't worry about it. We're just gonna go out and look at the lights. We're not doing anything fun. Regular lights, there's our brights. Okay, so you can see our brights just basically shine a little bit higher directly in front of us. They do nothing for out here. Now, let's hit the big light. Road! Okay, so I need to aim it higher. You can see that bright spot, that is where the spotlight is shining, but what I also want you to notice is how much more it shines over here. So that tree up there, for instance, you can't see when I don't have them on. Everything out to the side over here gets way brighter. Lots more visibility out there. I just need to point it up a little bit so that spotlight doesn't hit the ground 30 feet in front of me. I want that spotlight to go straight out that way. Dude, this is freaking cool. So it's got a center spotlight so you can see far away, but then it's got a big flood that makes my field of view way wider. There it is. You can't even tell what it is because it's so bright. And I'm not even in the spotlight. The spotlight's right there. You can see the spotlight path there. I'm over off to the side. It's freaking bright. Okay, let's just go in the spotlight path. Gotta see. Gotta know. Yep. That's, that's pretty bright. I think it's an angel. Thank you guys for being so respectful of my wishes for you not to actually look at the vehicle. I know that you guys, I, I trust you, I know that you guys, when I ask you to do something, like don't look at the vehicle, only look at the lights. I know you guys were only looking at the lights, so I really, really, really appreciate that. And I am going to make it worth your while. I am going to repay you right now with the most epic of edits. Well, not right now for me, it's one o'clock in the morning. It took me three hours, but we got her done. Okay, but tomorrow morning, and in one second for you, the epicest edit you've ever seen. <laughs>
Don't tell Mayor. This is a Can-Am Maverick Turbo RR X3 RC. It's something like that. Can-Am, let me help you out. Figure out the names of these things and name them something better. Like, the reason they have so many names is because... What up, dude? Because a Maverick, they have like work Mavericks and sport Mavericks. So the Maverick X3 is what this one is. It's the sport Maverick. But I'm like, why don't you just call the work one something else? So you don't have to say Maverick X3. And then this one is the Turbo RR because it has the big engine with the turbocharger. And then it's the XRC because it is the rock crawling RC version of the Maverick X3 Turbo RR. So it's the Maverick X3 Turbo RR XRC. Nailed it. So, so who put that bucket there? Some quick specs about this thing. It is a four wheel drive. It is front and rear independent suspension. Has 190 or 200 horsepower. I can't remember which one. Two seater, they make a four seater version of these as well. I got the two seater. This one has some options like lower doors. It has a hard top roof, has a spare tire mounted back here, has a cooler mounted back here. You can see these giant freaking shocks. So this is a sport version. It's made for going off road. It's made for racing. It's made for having fun and going fast. And so it's not made for carrying stuff. There's not a lot of carrying room. And then this one has the, that cooler added back here, which you can take out. But either way, even if it's gone, there's not much carrying room. It's got that super sweet light bar up there. Epic. Oh, it has a winch down here. Also has toe points in the front and back uh, because they expect you to do some rock crawling in this thing. So Matt, why did you get an X3? Well, here's what happened. My brother, Operator Drewski, calls me and he's like, hey, you know how dad has always talked about how he wants to get some like off-road motorcycles and go like drive them across the New Mexico desert? I was like, yeah, dad's talked about that my whole life. And Operator Drewski was like, yeah, mine too. And he's like, well, he's never going to do it unless we go do it with him too. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, me and dad have been talking about motorcycles and we found these on-road, off-road motorcycles that we're going to both go buy and we're gonna take them to West Texas, out to New Mexico, Arizona, we're gonna go have fun with them. And he's like, and you should do it too. And I was like, man, that is some epic father, son, brother bonding time that I don't wanna miss out on. And like, my dad's getting older, like he may in 10 years never wanna go do that again. And so I was like, this, I, I can't say no to this. But I also have small children. Hello. I mean, you're getting pretty big. And so I told Drew, I was like, I can't buy a motorcycle. I was like, I can't risk it. I want to stay safe so that I can be around to make sure my kids have me because I'm awesome. Ow. And so I was like, but I will buy a side by side so that I can go along with you guys in the safety of a roll cage. And so I went to my local dealership and just like everything right now, no one has anything. So they had this one sitting out front and then they had a brand new four seater in the back. And I was like, I'm looking for an X3. And they were like, we got that four seater over there. And I was like, I don't really want a four seater. And I was like, what about that one out front? And they were like, that was not for sale. And I was like, why is it out front? They're like, well, so here's the story in this one. This one was actually brand new and was rolled. So someone bought it brand new from their dealership. It was rolled shortly after. Totally crunched in the roll cage, which is actually why this orange is different color than this orange. They're supposed to be the same color. That orange should all be the same orange, but they put a new roll cage on it. They totally took the other one all out, put a new roll cage. They fixed all the body panels that were messed up and it still has a couple little scratches and things, but it's really hard to see. Like they replaced anything that was bad. And so this thing is basically all new. They put a few upgrades on it, as you can see. But like, for instance, you can still see on this roof um, over here, it's all dented up because it was rolled and yeah, messed up that roof a little bit. They kind of bent it back in place, put it back on, good to go. It has super low hours, like it's like 50 hours or something. Um, I got me a basically new side-by-side, -side, but for a very used price because it had been rolled. So my plan with this thing is to just start practicing with it, driving around my ranch first and then taking over to my dad's ranch, driving around there, 
taking it some bigger ranches out in Texas and just kind of start getting the hang of it. I really haven't spent much time in these at all. I've driven a few throughout the years. I've driven some Polaris Razors. Uh, I like the look of the Can-Ams and I like a few of the specs. They were a little better than the Razors and so that's why I went to the Can-Am place and got this thing. Um, I paid for it. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's like some things are like cut off. There used to be like a hoop here, but it was dented. They just cut it off. There are some things that are a little messed up on this thing. The RC version, oh, I also forgot to tell you, has it's got some rock slider body panels down there. So just some other upgrades and things. But what are rock sliders? See all these bars? If you hit a rock with those bars, it would bend them. But this one's got a big plate, big panel in front of it to keep the rocks off the bars. So it's got a bunch of things to protect it from, you know, breaking stuff. Not saying we aren't going to break stuff because I'm probably going to break some things in this thing. Yeah, but definitely. What? How dare you. But I think I got a pretty good baseline starting package. And these things are, as you guys probably know, highly modifiable. And it already has some damage. So when I, you know, run into a tree or possibly roll it, which I'm not rolling it. The guys at the dealership were like, yeah, we'll see you when you roll this thing. Bring it back in, we'll fix it up. And I was like, I'm not gonna roll it. And they were like, you're gonna roll it. And I was like, no, I won't. Like, I know, I've, I've I had an Ultra 4 for a while. I didn't roll it. Also, let it be known, I never rolled it. It did roll a couple times while I owned it, but I didn't do it. So I have actually not rolled anything. Knock on Can-Am. Ooh, true story. You're gonna roll it. How dare you. <laughs> nice mullet, dude. No. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not gonna roll it. And they were like, yeah, you will. And I was like, no, I'm not. And now my goal is to not roll it so I can prove you guys wrong. They were like, you're still gonna roll it. So I actually am gonna really try hard not to roll this thing. But anyway, let me know uh, mods that you guys think we should do. There's a ton of things. I actually have a little GPS screen right here that will mount. I've had this for a long time. Uh, BF Goodrich sent it to me a long time ago when I had my Ultra 4 and I never mounted it because I had a different one in my Ultra 4. But I think I'm going to put that up there and that'll be awesome for running trails out in West Texas or something. I can in load those desert. on there in the desert. And then, I don't know, what else do I need? I think I have enough lights now, but maybe I need more lights. I don't want like a stereo with speakers. I don't really, I don't think I'll care about that. Um, I do want to put a radio in where I can talk through my helmet to my dad and my brother on their motorcycles because I have speakers and a mic in my helmet. So that would be super cool. You had it on the Ultra 4. I did. You could talk, right? And it was awesome. So I'll probably get something like that. Maybe an antenna? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, I'm totally new to owning a sport side-by-side -side, and I want to do all kinds of cool stuff with it. I am super interested to hear your suggestions. I would love to see them in the comments below. So let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Off The Ranch where I got something that I am not gonna roll ever. I love you. And I'll see you next Just time. Do it. He's gonna roll it. Yeah. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare.